Even though copying and moving files seems to be like fairly basic stuff, it's worth taking a few moments to look at this because a few things have changed and they've moved, yet again, where you're going to find those features. Now in earlier versions of SharePoint, moving a file was always far more difficult than it ever uh, should have been. And sometimes we were adding to the URL and it was just a really problematic sort of a thing to the place where we didn't even want to use the move feature in SharePoint. We would just download it to our, our desktop, delete it from the SharePoint site, and then copy it to the new location. It was simpler. It was actually simpler and less painful to do that than it was to try to use the features. Well, they've enhanced and fixed a lot of this. And so that's what we'd like to look at. I'm in this library that says project deliverables, and you can see that I've got an Excel file selected down here. Now, the data for September. I don't know what September, but that's not going to matter. Notice that even since the last time that we were working with our video content, they changed it all up here again. Now, it's over here. Here's where they changed the move to and the copy to. Copying is still essentially copying. Moving has been significantly enhanced. Let's give this a few moments just to see what it can do. I can pick the current library. It can go to my OneDrive account, but look at this. I can finally move among other sites and subsites. This is something we've wanted for a long time. Now, for the moment, of course, you can't move this to a um, site to which you don't have permission, so that won't work. And the other thing to remember about moving a file is that version history does not go with it, and neither does checkout check-in status. Right? That's all going to get lost because those features, versioning and checkout check-in, are, are library-specific. And so it, it really would be kind of mess of things to try to move all of that as well. But the file goes. Team Beta is one that we created. So I'm just going to click over here on Team Creator, on Team Beta. And it's going to say to me um, that I don't have any folders. Now, even though hmm, we try to avoid the use of folders, right? Metadata is really the champion here, but we'll go along with it for now. Let's create a folder name. Moved data. Sure, keep sharing it with the same people. Something I could never have done in previous versions, and I'll move here. Right, and that's fine. And like I said, yes, yeah, some of the some of the metadata is going to be dropped. But that would make sense because it, it'll be pointing to a location that doesn't exist. <laughs> so it's like I don't want people thinking it's going, you know, it's one place when it's actually not there anymore. We'll give this a few moments to go. It's really got to readjust all those properties behind the scenes. This made me nervous when I first started working with it, but look, it's gone. It's gone off the list. This is a library name here. The actual site that we created was called um, Project Beta, and we would now have to come up here and go searching for Project Beta to go find the file. But that's just me clicking around with the mouse, and you all know how that, that's going to work. But look how quick and easy it is now to move files. We drop the data we don't want. We keep sharing it with the people with whom it's currently shared. They can, so that when they find it as they search, it will be in the, not in the location they thought it was going to be, but they will find it, right? And then if they have any questions, they can ask the person who moved it there. But this is a far better approach to doing what, anything we've ever had in the past.